empire that we've created in our empire series that we're going to do a new series where the empires I make fall apart or new empires fall apart because they're new that I'm making and basically they basically collapse but not like collapse like they just collapse no because of wars and stuff they lose they lose a lot of land and no longer an empire different groups in their empire revolt but let's start with an interesting idea. What well, Germany, although has millions of troops in the biggest economy in the world, not biggest, the third largest, most likely they probably have a few trillion dollars, maybe like 10 trillion at this point, their economy starts hitting a recession and France seizes this opportunity to invade North France. And this invasion goes pretty well. And them starting to take lands. As Germany's army is starting to fall behind how modern this French one got. With the French puppet starting to collapse, Germany launches a counter-offensive. With France being ready for this and having planned this out, basically they're trying to form the Republic of France. But it's not really working the best. And they manage to reach the German border. And at this point, they start crossing the German border. I'm moving into Belgian territory. The Germans agree to get France their old territory, which leads to the peace treaty, or the Treaty of Berlin. Worsened by the fact France invaded. Both the Polish state, or the Polish puppet, starting a rebellion. As quickly they overthrow the Polish puppet, and with the help of Ukraine and Russia, they manage to launch a counter-offensive. They also are getting support of France and other nations. Although this doesn't go as quick or as well as the other rebellions. Take a bit of up here and they move over here because they can't get much. With Polish people starting to rise up in Polish inhabited lands, with them crossing this river, and headed for Berlin. They manage to take Berlin and Germany makes a peace treaty. In which Germany does manage to keep a bit of Poland. Most of its northern land had to sign a peace treaty before it took back all of its land. With a rebel force rising in Yugoslavia puppet. Or the Yugoslav army. Not only leads to Germany having to fight a war with the Yugoslavs. And the Yugoslavs use the German color to invade. That's a mess up. But anyways. Hungary joins on the purple team. Why? Because they're also invading Germany. And they invade a big swath to take lands they still claim. But Yugoslavia claims they're in their lands. And invades them. Yugoslavia is trying to unite the land of, with a big peace treaty being signed with Germany for the Yugoslav issue. Which this treaty affects Hungary, Yugoslavia, and Germany's borders. So let's see how it goes. Still being strong but much weaker already. And we're not even like far into the video. With Italy starting the Italian War of Land, Poland joins, and Czechia joins. And Czechia isn't even independent. This becomes known as the First German Collapsing War. Or the First, the Czech Rebellion. And with Polish troops crossing in. With the Czech rebels all linking up. With the end of the war coming, eventually, with Germany agreeing to a treaty, which has a big impact, the borders will shift, and let's see, and now Germany has lost their Adriatic Sea access, which is going to hurt their economy, changes in their territory, after they declared independence after the war, where Italy took back its lands, Czechia took a bit of land, Poland took a bit of land, and let's see what happens now. Well, the Benlux War begins, 
which is a rebellion started in a few key areas. Down here, over here, up here. And basically, this is like the last war before basically everybody wants to invade Germany. And I'm declaring this as part of their territory. They come out of the north too. They take a big chunk of Germany. Germany agrees to a peace treaty, in which Ben Lux is born with a bit of extra land. Let's see how it goes for Germany. For the German collapsing empire, Ben Lux coming, and they have most of a lot of land. Like a lot. Parts of northwestern Germany, parts of Rhineland, not all of Rhineland, just the northern part. With South Germany declaring independence. And this is where France and Poland and Italy and Austria and South Germany and Denmark and the Netherlands forms a coalition. This is the end of Germany. Not really, but the end of its empire with it being North Germany at this point. This is where they replace the government with a democratic government and they each take a greedy amount of land. Uniting after South Germany took out Germany. But France took a big chunk of land, the Netherlands, Poland, Czechia, and Denmark. So lots of lands have been stripped away from the German Empire and their collapse. And that's pretty much all for today's video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Why should you subscribe? Because it's good for the channel. Bye, guys!